grown alligator, see you later. Gotta hit the road. Gotta hit the road. The sun is changing the atmosphere. Architecture unfamiliar. I can get used to this. Hey guys! Hey everybody! We are back for another Southern Fried Adventure. Today we are in Augusta, Georgia. We're at Finnezy. Finnezy Park. It is a nature preserve and swamp that's also a water treatment center. Yeah, so this is our first time coming here, so we're kind of just gonna do a little short walk around, check it out, and a few of my friends on Facebook have been coming up here and posting pictures, so that's the only reason why I know about it, so we're gonna check it out. We're gonna try to find some gators. Yeah. We're starting off at the Cattail Trail Head, and we are gonna walk through the rain garden and then head out to the wetlands. There's dragonflies coming out of all the trees. When we walked up, a whole bunch came down out of it. There's, oh, you can kind of see some flying around. There's a dragonfly right there. See what I mean. There's a mountaintop that I'm dreaming of. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. There's just these beautiful cypress trees everywhere, swampy vegetation. Jamie spotted that. What is that bird, Jamie? The white bird. Oh, Jamie spotted the white bird. There's tons of walking trail all throughout all of this area. We've got a nice little swampy, wet area. Look at all the animal prints. Oh yeah, lots of stuff's been running around out here. Oh, there's fish. Let's go see if we can see them. So that bird was out here feasting on. Yep. We can kind of see the little minnows swimming around down come, there. Come over here, the bigger. Yeah, you can see one. Kind of under the surface Good there. Size little fish. Hey little buddy. There's like tiny turtles around it. It's hard to see with the glare on the water. Can you see back underneath the dock? There's little fish. Mm-hmm. Right under the water there. There's a little turtle right there next to that plant. We stumbled into this little bug habitat. And it's just a bunch of natural things put in here for bugs to live in. You think there's any bees in here? Probably. Hmm. If that was a carpenter bee, I'd be up in here. And then if you have kids, which we obviously don't, but there's a whole area for kids to play here. So this looks like a little fire ring. I know they do summer camp here, so that might be what that yeah. is for. This would be a cool place to do summer camp. I don't know if you could swim anywhere, but... I don't know. Maybe in the river. <laughs> so now we have a choice. Do we go straight? Oh wait, this is just a little dock, isn't it? Oh, okay. This is a handicap ramp. I see. I'm Let's sorry. All right, so this is what we're coming out here. To we're look. coming out here to look for gators. So let's see how many how many we see. All right, so this is just like a little overlook, and we're gonna try to look for some gators out here. The south of the equator navigated. Gotta hit the road. If you look really far out there, I believe that that's an osprey nest on the top of that power pole up there. Well, there's a mama on it, but the way she's sitting off to the side makes me think she's probably got babies in there. All right, so now we are entering the William Bartram Rain Garden. And this oh. is an important bird area, so apparently. The, that's the bird we should be looking for, our featured bird. This is the pie-billed grebby? Greb? Grebe? I don't know. But we will keep an eye out for him. They swim in the water. So far we've seen the white bird is a white ibis. I haven't seen any ducks yet. We did see what looked like a blue heron out there just now. All right, so let's start down the wetland trail. Ooh, be careful because some areas are a little treacherous on this little boardwalk. Jamie just noticed 
this little guy walking around in the woods out here. We we'll just saw him chilling. So we're now on a grass walking path and I think we are going to the levees. There's a small little outdoor classroom area here. And oh yeah, check it out. Gotta hit the road. Deep-sea dive around the clock. Bikini bottoms, lager tops. I could get used to this. Time flies by in the yellow and green. Stick around and you see what I mean. I don't know, I heard a sound too though. It's gotta be frogs. Lots of little noises coming though. Still no gators yet. Like a chicken. Yep, I got him on video. That's a little guy making all that noise. He does look like a chicken, doesn't he? Kinda. So we feel like that might be where a gator might lay. So maybe we're getting closer to finding one. I'm hearing sounds. Splashing, did you hear that? I don't know if you guys watch our Eudora Farms video, but JB doesn't really have a great luck with birds. So um, this is interesting to see this many. They've got little like pink spots on them, it looks like. Are these the Ebis? I think so. They're just all hanging out back here, all together. Flying away right there. I just want you to know, we're standing completely still. That grass is definitely floating. It's moving quickly too. I know, that's the only reason I noticed it. That's kind of crazy. Apparently it's been doing it the whole time. All of this is moving. Huh. Also, look at that cute little butterfly. So I'm pretty sure that's two gators. Oh yeah, that's definitely one. Look at my camera, Jamie. Oh yeah, and then there's one to the left. All right, now let's see if us. we can find the other one. Oh yeah, you pointing at us. Be looking at us. We look tasty. Oh yeah. Goals. Oh, it just turned. I'll be like a shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. I'll be like a shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. Green heron, perhaps, maybe? I see the gator. Oh, I do too. Let's see if I can get him on the camera. There he is. Here at Finnezy Swamp, if you can't get your first shot, just wait a couple minutes and the grass will move and then you get a perfect shot. There you go. So we've got some gators kind of stalking us in the water a little bit. <laughs> Just kind of checking out what we're doing. And we're getting a little sweaty and hot. And so I think just because it's midday, we're going to head back to the car. We'll probably come out another time. Maybe on like a more overcast day. Just because it's very, very sunny. And there's obviously not a lot of co uh, cover here. And there's a little bird down there. That other gator, he's way, way, way out in the middle. Kind of watching us walk by. Be curious to see if we see any more than these two before we get out of here. He's just up and floating around out there. So overall, I would say that this is a pretty fun place to yeah. take a really relaxing walk through nature. Very much so. Now, beyond here, there's a ton more of that wetland trail, which like I said, one day we'll come back here fully prepared and do this the we'll right way out better because it looks like you can walk in between all the levees and yeah and we'll just down. have to go on like a whole day of exploring oh we're better suited yeah attire. jamie's chafing i am a little bit too so i can't say too much but he's back out visiting us so i'm just going to tell you while we're walking back a little bit about finnezy swamp area and it's actually a water project. There's a creek that runs through here called Butler Creek and the city of Augusta used to dump their treated wastewater straight into the Butler Creek area and it dumped into the Savannah River. And in the late 60s, um, 
I'm sure you've all heard of the Clean Water Act and that came into play and so they had to find another way to be able to handle all of the city's water and so they built all of these levees and if you notice we were driving in there's a really big water plant processing plant um, so basically all of the dirty dirty water gets treated up there and then through tubes they dump it into these natural levees but they're not natural obviously they've built them but it's like a natural environment that filters the already treated wastewater. It goes through, I think, three or four different uh, retention pond areas before it gets dumped back into the main water supply. This is more than just a nature preserve. It's actually functional for our environment. Yeah. Also something kind of neat that I've never seen before because I guess this is pretty popular with trail riders. They've got a whole set of tools here and air, like a whole repair stop for your bicycle. So basically we started from here. We went up through here, here, and then once we got out, we took a little turn, walked this way, and then turned back around and we're heading this way back to the house. Or not the house, but the car, you know what I mean. So as you can see, we just scratched the surface. There are tons and tons of other little spots that you can go. And like I said, we are definitely gonna come back again because I wanna walk a lot more of this place. Time flies by in the yellow and green. Stick around and you see what I mean. There's a mountain top that I'm dreaming of. If you need me, you know where I'll be. He came along for the ride. Wow. Jamie and his little new buddy he made here. I'm collecting Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be a master Pokemon trainer one day. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta catch them all. He's really just riding with you, Jamie. Mm -hmm. You must like your jacket or your shirt color. Maybe. <laughs> don't come back don't come back all right see you later dude all right so anyway we hope that you enjoyed this new southern fried adventure with us yeah guys it was a fun little walk we're definitely going to come back out here yeah for I'm sure more adequately prepared yes and we actually are going to be taking a northern adventure soon in the next couple of weeks yes. and i'm excited to show you a new place that's not in the southeast. That's right. We're uh, knocking off one of my bucket list places to go to. Crystal's been here before, but not since she was a little kid. So we're going to Ohio to Sandusky to Cedar Point. Yeah, Cedar Point should be the best of the best as far as amusement parks are concerned. We'll yes, see. and my best friend lives a couple hours from there. And the real reason we're going is because she was in Thailand for the last year. So we're going to go visit her, take a trip to Cedar Point. And we're going to bring you along. That's right, guys. Until we until, blah, blah, blah. until uh, next time. Keep it southern, bro. <laughs> I've been riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone.